am at your service, Sagma. Greetings. And you've come back to old Grimmy. They always do, they always do, so I says. Now, as to what you came for, fancy on joining the travellers? Oh, you're breaking my poor heart, Dove, just like Phil Gary. But I trust you'll come to regret your mistake. When such a time has reached you, see me again. I'll be right here. But feel free to explore the camp if you so like. Nice to see you, my child. I hope all is going well for you this day. I have a request, a selfish one, but do you have any spare time? Well, it's Brother Padrick. He's a friend of mine. We left about a year's time ago in search of adventure. Said the monk's life was too bland for his tastes. He mentioned hearing about a treasure only found through a hidden exit from Split Rock Depths, but he might find it if he camped in Haxi for a bit. But such a long time has passed and no word from him. I'm terribly worried and I thought you might, well, you could check up on him for me. <clears throat> With those blessings upon you, child, bless you. 
Thank you so much. My mind is already at ease knowing you would take on this charge. If it helps, I would begin your search at Split Rock Depths. It is the only place he had mentioned by name. Towards Haxi and into Split Rock Depths. Begin your search for him there. I came to St. Edric's to find peace. Peace and a place to study. It's quite scenic, and nature's beauty has always helped me think better. But my mind at ease. He was always looking for more adventure than St. Edric's could offer him. This made him an ambitious man. When he spoke of traveling and seeing more of these lands, there was always a sparkle in his eye. The man was such a dear friend, he even asked me to go with him. I hold no such ambitions for myself. A dense and magical forest, home of the traveler's camp, and a place to find lodging or goods if you have need of it. They are a system of caves running through Haxi, said to have a hidden exit that holds a treasure on its cliff, if it can be found, that is. So much of the world around us is made of things we can look at, but never see. St. Edric's wants to show us a way to see those things, the meanings in them that go far deeper than their facade. From what I hear, it may be home to some of the best thieves around. I am probably not the most worldly man, but I know enough to be on alert when I pass their camp. Go with my thorough child.
Welcome to St. Edric's. Welcome to St. Edric's. You're here to meet with Father Etair, yes? The Father's always playing host to interesting individuals such as yourself. His quarters are on the second floor of the Mission Bunkhouse. Most of his days are spent inside working on his research. I never understand a word of it. No, I, I knew that they were arguing, but I never imagined that it would lead to... to murder. It's enough to make a man question his faith. Father Atar and his apprentice brother Wolf. They were inseparable, like a true father and son. It was a shared love of alchemy that brought them together. But since their work repairing the village well, they've been acting tense, even hostile. Just this morning I saw a tear fetching water. But now he, he's gone. Mitharu save us all. You're free to search the bunkhouse. Please, if you can shed any light on this tragedy, we'll do all we can to assist you. Five years in the swamps of Clericon was enough to rid me of my lust for war. I was an impetuous youth, raised by the back of my father's right hand. But I found home here with the others. All we seek is a sliver of peace in this vast world. In another life, Wolf was a butcher in Galafor. He's a naive sort, and his gifts do not lie in prayer. But Father Etair believed that Wolf had been called. I know only what I've seen from his own. The fair or wild race, inspired by the intimacy with the natural world. We at the mission marvel at this relationship. Occasionally, Father Etair would play host to a visiting summer court fay, but I know nothing of the meetings, except that many of the brothers frowned upon them. I'll admit that the eastern lands are beautiful in their own way. Like Dalentarth, the forests and swamps are ruled by fey folk, but a far more sinister variety. Clericon should be seen, but I advise that you wait until after the war passes before you pay your ship's passage. It dried up several months ago, so we sent several brothers down to try and find some deeper reserves. Father Etair had great interest in Mitharu's natural splendors. He volunteered to lead the project, with Wolf by his side, of course. The Authority is the one true Father to all humankind. It's by his grace and order that we are able to survive the trials of this world. He tests us in all that we do. Our goal, as set forth by St. Edric, is to find the order in nature, in every blade of grass and curling leaf. But these designs are the Authority's most beguiling. This mission was established 20 years ago. The gardens and fauna pens were Father Etair's idea. He marveled at Mitharu's gifts, the magic in the world around us. Farewell.